Hey there folks, Lenny Rudo here for Fish Talk Magazine and today I'm looking at a Bulls Bay 200cc. And you know how popular this boat is? Let me tell you how popular, no, I'm not going to tell you how popular this is. Let me get Nick from Pasadena Boat Works. Nick, come on over here. How popular is this boat? Last year this boat sold out uh, at the actual show and then this year we're trying to get more so we got more coming. Wow, so you mean last year at the show you sold all the boats you could get for the whole year? For the entire year. That's pretty incredible. It, it's a great boat. Let's get on board and see why. Oh, hold on a minute folks. Before we get on this boat we got to look at one other thing, this power plant. At the $40,000 price point this boat carries a Suzuki 140 on the transom. Now. That gets you a cruise in the mid-30s and a wide open throttle of over 40 miles an hour. Here's the first thing that really jumps out to me about a boat like this. A lot of times you see cost cutting measures on a boat that doesn't cost an arm and a leg. Well, look at this leaning post. This is a real leaning post. It has a real aluminum frame. It has four rocket launchers across the back. Most of the time on a relatively inexpensive 20-foot boat, you're gonna find one of those swing back cooler seats. They get the job done, but this is much nicer. Now here's an unexpected little touch. Check out this. Pop this open. You got a place to put your cell phone. It's padded and you have a charging port. One of the things I always like to look at on any boat as an indicator of quality is a hatch. You can tell a lot by looking at the hatches on a boat. And let's see what they look like on this bull's bay. Here's an access hatch in the back. You got your battery stowage and your battery switch back here. Well, it's finished on the underside. That's nice. These bolts are finished off to the hinges there. Oh, it's a decent hatch. I like it. It's really interesting what Bulls Bay has done with the bow of this boat. Instead of just throwing in your standard issue forward cooler seat in front of the console, you have this fold-up seat. And by keeping this area clean, you also get this hatch to a stowage compartment. Now, really interesting detail we need to look at right here. Notice that this hatch not only has a gutter around it, not only does the gutter have the drain, the drain is piped out the back. That is fantastic. On many boats that are price conscious, this is just going to drain right into the bilge. But that's not the case here. Now you got to recognize that on a boat like this, you're not going to find a ton of crazy features that those boats that cost big bucks have. You're not going to have underwater lights, you know, you're not going to have your uh, gyroscopic stabilization system. But one thing you will get on the Bulls Bay 200cc is a whopping big live well. You will not find many 20-footers that have a live well anywhere nearly this big. Hey, you know what, people? Here's a 20-footer that comes ready to roll and costs less than the last pickup truck I bought. If you want a 20-footer and you don't want to give up quality and you're not worried about all those bells and whistles, check out the Bulls Bay.